In this video series, we are discussing the special pipe inspection tests, especially in aggressive environments. And in this part, we are going to cover the sulfide stress corrosion cracking. So let us start with the topic. Here, these are the four parts which we are going to cover in this video. First one is what is sulfide stress cracking. Second is when it occurs. What are the reasons behind this kind of cracking? Then how we can prevent it? Okay, so let us start with the part one. Now to understand what is sulfide stress cracking, we need to understand that this kind of cracking occurs where there is a tensile stress and corrosion in the presence of water and hydrogen sulfide. Right, so this is the environment where this kind of cracking occurs. Tensile strength, tensile stress is there and corrosion because of water and hydrogen sulfide. So these three elements will always be there where when this occurs. So sulfide stress cracking is a form of hydrogen embrittlement, right? As we discussed in hydrogen induced cracking, similar effect is there, hydrogen embrittlement that occurs. But in this scenario, it occurs only when there is a high strength states, right? And it occurs localized hard zones, right? And again, when there is an environment which contains wet hydrogen sulfide. So this is what hydrogen sulfide uh, sulfide stress cracking is. Now where it occurs? In most of the cases it occurs in iron alloys because of uh, restricted slip capabilities in the predominantly body centered cubic structures. So when we are talking about where it occurs, you can say it occurs mostly in body centered cubic structures. Again, when those steels where which are having hardness of 22 or greater on Rockwell C scale. So these two scenarios are there when there is a hardness of this much scale and when there is a body centered cubical structure. Right now let us see what are the causes when it occurs. Right there exist synergetic effects of high yield strength and high S2S concentration in the environment. Right as we have discussed earlier we have two conditions. There should be high yield strength material and there will be a presence of S2S concentration. Right? It occurs associate, uh, it generally associated with welds because when there is a heat affected zone and this kind of uh, strength and this kind of concentration. These three combinations will cause the sulfide stress cracking. Now as we discussed atomic hydrogen diffuses into the steel and causes embrittlement especially in the hard zones in the heat affected zones adjacent to the welds so whenever there is a welding there will be heat affected zone and adjacent to those there if there are hard zones then this kind of hydrogen embrittlement may occur in wet hydrogen sulfide environment in the region of high tensile strength there will be residual stresses available crack will initiate leading to the crack propagation in the direction perpendicular to the tensile stress. So three conditions will be there high tensile strength material, heat affected zone and H2S environment. These three conditions when meet at single point there will be hydrogen embrittlement which causes sulfide stress cracking. Now what are the various factors how we can prevent it? We can control the stress level right the residual stresses we can remove and we can control the hardness once we control these two factors stress level and hardness then there are ch less chances of this kind of environment also if we provide if we apply the post weld heat treatment then again this will reduce the level of stresses residual stresses avoid the hydrogen source we can keep our material away from hydrogen source so there will be lesser hydrogen embrittlement so these are few of the factors with the help of which we can uh, uh, avoid, we can prevent sulfide stress cracking. So in this part we discussed what is sulfide stress cracking, what are the various factors, when it occurs, what are the various reasons behind it and how we can prevent it. So this was all about uh, sulfide stress cracking. Thank you for watching.